everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. A few years ago, I saw someone do a video on how to custom dye your own uh, ribbon. Uh, they didn't do lace, but lace certainly works well too. So I am getting ready to dye some lace and some ribbon for a journal I'm making. I started with this and what I did was I loved, I wanted to change the color of the ribbon I put here. And I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the tie closure and then some more ribbon just for a few things that uh, I may add as little accent pieces. Now, the first thing you need to do though, is to have white. A lot of us purchase the off-white colors of ribbon and, and laces. You need to start with white or you're not going to get a true color. So this is just some lace that I buy at Hobby Lobby. This is the Hug Snug seam binding. I get this off of Amazon. I have never been able to find it anywhere else. So I'm going to use some of this seam binding. You could also use white sari silk if you can find that. That's kind of a tougher thing. The other thing you're going to need is either your Distress Oxide or your Distress Inks. Um, and you need a color. Uh, and then whoever did it used the Antique Linen that kind of softens the color a little bit so it's not quite so harsh and it looks a little bit more natural. And then last but not least, you need a water spray bottle. So let's get into this real quickly. I'm going to measure off a little bit of this ribbon. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to need, but that about looks right for the first piece that I need. So I don't know, that's probably 14 inches double does 28 inches of ribbon that we're going to do. And the other thing that's fun with this is that the way you let it dry is you let it get all wrinkly, which is awesome. I love wrinkly ribbon. So what you do, you start out with your Distress Ink and start by putting down some linen uh, let me move that out of the way. It's hard to see that it's actually going down and it's hard to see, but it's, trust me, it's there. You just want to pat it around. Then you're going to take the color that you're using and just do a couple of pats on that. And then you're going to come back and add more as you need it. This is quite a bit. Next, you take your spray bottle and you're going to just spray it a little bit, then this is the easy part. You just take your ribbon and you're going to rub it around and kind of wipe all of that up again. So you can see this is a very light color. I'm going to put down some more ink and do this again to get some more color. And I think this time I'm going to put much more of the speckled egg distress oxide. Yes, I do take the time to put my lids back on them because I live in Colorado. It is very dry here, so um, it things dry out very quickly. All right, now I think I have enough. This should work for this amount of ribbon. So a little bit more water, not a ton. You don't need a ton. And then you're going to, again, oh, there we go. Now we're getting some really good color in it. Um, so then I usually just leave it all bunched up like this, and uh, that's super easy. Now, for lace, it's virtually the same thing again. You put down your uh, antique linen, and then put down your Distress Oxide. And again, be pretty generous with it, unless you're working in really small batches. I'm going to cut off, let's cut off about, I don't know, that much seems like a good amount. Uh, there we go. And give your couple of spritzes. That probably is enough. And then, again, just start rubbing it around in it. Um, you may need to go back and add more. Keep rubbing it. Again, Colorado, this is drying pretty quickly. Uh, you do want to use a non-porous surface to do this on, so that's why I got out this. You definitely want a non-porous surface. 
So now you can see the color coming up also on the lace. And you just keep repeating that until you get what you want. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to custom color your ribbons and your laces to match your journals. And I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.